John Calvin on Psalm 86, verses 11 through 17. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast holpen me, and comforted me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. In submitting himself to God, and in imploring him to be his guide, David confesses that the only possible way by which we can be enabled to live a holy and upright life is when God goes before us while we follow after him, and accordingly, that those who deviate, let it be ever so little, from the law, through a proud conceit of their own wisdom, wander from the right path. David is not only speaking of external teaching, but having the law among his hands, he prays for the inward light of the Holy Spirit, that he may not labor in the unprofitable task of learning only the letter. According as he prays in another place, quote, Open my eyes, that I may see wonderful things in your law. Unquote. Psalm 119, verse 18. If a prophet so distinguished and so richly endowed with the graces of the Holy Spirit makes such a frank and cordial confession of his own ignorance, how great our folly if we feel not our own deficiency and are not stirred up to greater diligence and self-improvement from the knowledge of our slender attainments. And, assuredly, the more progress a man has made in the knowledge of the true religion, the more aware will he be that he is far from the mark. It is necessary to add that reading or hearing is not enough, unless God impart to us inward light by his Spirit. In addition to this, the psalmist desires that his heart may be framed for yielding obedience to God, and that it may be firmly established therein. For as our understanding has need of light, so has our will of a brightness. Unite my heart to fear your name. In the word unite, there is a very beautiful metaphor conveying the idea that the heart of man is full of tumult, drawn asunder, as it were, and scattered about in fragments, until God has gathered it to himself and holds it together in a state of steadfast and persevering obedience. From this also it is manifest what free will is able to do of itself. Two powers are ascribed to it, but David confesses that he is destitute of both, setting the light of the Holy Spirit in opposition to the blindness of his own mind, and affirming that uprightness of heart is entirely the gift of God.